Hi guys! So for this messy bun hat tutorial, we're, we're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a hair tie, preferably a good one that's got a good stretch and it's not, you know, worn out and twice as big. We're going to need a six millimeter hook and you're going to need a skein of Red Heart with Love Metallic and this is the color charcoal. Now, if you're just making the hat, one skein will do it, but if you're gonna make the hat and the scarf, uh, you're gonna need two of these. But anyway, so find my end, I'm all tangled up. And I also wanted to mention real quick, uh, the back loop half double crochets in this hat, I started doing a special, I don't, I don't know how you'd say it, like a special way to do it. Because if you know, if you notice when you work half, or I mean um, back loops, it'll leave, I can't find, like it'll leave a big, can you see it right there? It'll leave a bigger than you want, I guess I should say, loop from, you know, pulling on that back loop. But I'm going to show you a way I did it to where it doesn't, you know, it gives it more of a sturdy feel than... See, like right here where I finished it, because I started it doing. I started it the, at the. We started at the top and we worked down. But when I started up here, and I was doing the back loops, I was working uh, normal back back loop half double crochet. But the farther down I got, I noticed if I ran my hook that through this one little loop on the back, it would look the same but be sturdier. But anyway, I'll show you that. All right, get your stuff together, and we get started. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Make sure you have enough uh, tail to weave in. I messed that up. Okay. Put it on your hook. So we're going to take our hair tie and we're just, we're just going to set all that right on top of the hair tie. Grab your tail. Or I mean your working yarn. I'm going to hold my slip knot. And I'm just going to go right through the hair tie, grab my loop, pull it through, and it goes right through that slip knot. And I'm just going to flip my tail to the back and chain one. There we go. Okay, so now I want you guys to work 28 single crochets around the hair tie. If you use a, a worn out hair tie, I'm tangled up. If you use a worn out hair tie, the top of the hat is going to be real big, and we don't want that. We want a perfect, nice, newer hair tie. But go ahead and work your 28 single crochet around your hair tie, and I'll meet you guys back around. Okay, I have 26 and I'm having to scoot them over a little bit. 27 and 28. Okay, so now we're gonna slip stitch back to our first. So if you look, there's our slip stitch, chain one, first single. So we're gonna go right in there and we're gonna slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to chain one. Let me look at my notes here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that uh, single, the very first single crochet that we slip stitched to. My camera. There, that's better. Now we're going to work a half double back into the, slip, the single crochet we slip stitched to. So we're going to yarn over. And we're going to work two half doubles. So into the next one, we're going to, oops, I forgot to work. Uh, <laughs> we're going to work back loop half doubles. So we're just going to go straight into that back loop and work two back loops. We're going to do one in the next, 
and two into the next. So we're increasing. One, two, one in the next. Two in the next. One, two. But earlier, remember how I was talking when you work in the back loops, how much of a gap that gives? After this row, we're going to start working the, the, the way I was talking about. So we did two in that one, one in the next, two in the next. One in the next, two in the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that all around. One, two. One back loop, two back loop. One back loop, two back loop half. You guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> Work that around and I'll meet you guys back at this end. Okay guys, I made it back around. And your last stitch should be a one back loop, half double in it. There's my last one. Focus on me, please. <laughs> okay, so we're going to slip stitch to our first. Let go. So if you see, here's the uh, slip stitch, the chain one, and our first back loop half double. So we're going to slip stitch into that. And there you go. And you should have 42 all the way around. So this round, I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about with the, the uh, special back loop. So we're going to chain one. Go ahead and just do your normal in this first stitch, but we're going to do the same thing we just did. Two two back loop half double in one, one in the next, two, one, two, one, all the way back around. But I'm going to show you, so on this first one, I'm just going to do a normal. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to go in the back loop. Let me get something to point with. Feel like I'm getting ready to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so for this back loop, I'm gonna go in the back loop right here, but also if you look, there's a little bitty loop right here. I'm gonna grab both of those when I go into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. Yarn over. So here's my back loop. And then this loop right there. And the reason I figured this out is because as I was working the hat, <coughs> excuse me, as I was working the hat, my hook just kept naturally going into that extra loop. And I'm like, dang it. So I pull it out and do it over again. <coughs> Jeez. And uh, so finally I was like, well, I wonder what would happen if I just left it or kept doing it that way. And it worked out great. Yarn over. In and in. One. So two of the next. And then one in the next. Two in the next, one in the next. So, so it it kind of just like naturally just slides in there. Well, that one it didn't. It's, that one's a big one. Now I lost track where I was. Two, one. Okay, this one gets two. Next one gets one. Next one gets two. One. 
and see how it's still forming our ridge and it doesn't have that that uh, big gap like these do okay so go ahead and work this all around where was I one two and I'll meet you back at the beginning okay I made it back around and in my last stitch I'm gonna work two back loop half doubles and at the end of that we should have a total of 62 back loops and then we're that's all for our increases we're not gonna increase any more so go ahead and slip stitch to your first one all right for round three or four, I mean, I'm sorry. We're going to chain one. Go ahead and work our back loop like normal. Yarn over, go through all, and we're just going to work one in every stitch all around, keeping our same stitch count. I forgot to work over my tail. Don't forget to go through that little back loop. It's so easy because it just, like the hook just naturally wants to go that way. Give me some slack. Yarn over. So go ahead and work one back loop, half double, all the way around. And uh, I will meet you back at the beginning. All right. Okay, guys, so I made it back around. I still have the same stitch count, 62. So slip stitch to your first. Chain one. And we're going to go ahead and repeat round four. So this, so the one we're starting is round five. So we're going to repeat round five to 18, which is 14 rounds. So repeat round four, 14 rounds. And then when you're done, when you're, you've repeated it 14 times, if we count from, uh, the slip, the single crochets around the hair tie, and count up, we should have 18 stitches. So repeat round four, starting with five. So round five to 18. So go ahead and do that. Oop, I forgot to do the back loop again. So just repeat one back loop half double in every stitch all around for 14 rounds, which is five to 18. All right, and don't worry about how it's wobbly like that. It's the, once you get farther through those 14 rounds, it's gonna come out of that. But go ahead and keep working that and I'll meet you guys back with my 14 rounds. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I worked my 14 rounds, so I have a total of 18 rounds, so I have one around the hair tie, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I was off camera. Eighteen. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, I already slip stitched to my first back loop half double. Well, come on there. So all I want you to do is slip stitch to your last, or I mean your first uh, back loop half double, chain one, and all we're gonna do is just work a single crochet all around, going through both loops. Work that around in every stitch.
keep working that all around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay guys, I made it back around. Still have one to do in this last stitch. Okay, so you still should have 62 uh, single crochet. We're going to slip stitch to our first one. Get in there. Pull up a loop. Cut it. Hold tight and there you go. Weave in your ends. And enjoy. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. Have a little give up here. I hope you guys like it. Um, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Etsy shop for patterns. And yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye, guys.